Hey you guys, it's Lauren, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a review of the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. You guys, I was so excited about this foundation. Such a Charlotte fan. When I heard that this was gonna be a radiant skin foundation, it was gonna be ultra moisturizing, I'm like, yes, that sounds exactly what my dry skin needs. I wanted to pump this video out real quick. I know I just, I literally just filmed my best and worst of skincare of last year change my shirt like I could really fool you guys but um, I wanted to just film this really quick just to get this review out because I have some thoughts about this little guy right here so without further ado let's just get right into it so if you're new here let me tell you guys a little bit about my skin I am on the dry side right now I'm very very dry um, I'm 37 I am I'm on the more mature side I would say I'm not you know close to retirement age or anything over here but I definitely have some more wrinkles popping up but like I said at the beginning I love a luminous radiant foundation just my jam I just think it, they make the skin look so beautiful and youthful but they have to be smoothing on the skin so let's first talk about the claims on this foundation so this foundation comes in one ounce it's $44 USD and it comes in 30 shades and let's talk ingredients real quick. So they do have some nice emollients in here. There's dimethicone, we have our silicone, very high up in the ingredient list. So this is gonna be your a thicker foundation. Um, but when you see dimethicone pretty high up, you know you're gonna get that poor, oh, well, hopefully that poor filling action. Um, and then we also have propendiol, a nice hydrator, and then we have glycerin as well. We also have coconut fruit extract in here, rose flower oil, which is a fragrant oil. Um, I don't detect a smell at all. Now, of course, I'm still congested from this never ending cold, but I do not notice a smell, but just keep that in mind that is in here. We have the rose flower oil in here as well. So they're making some big claims on this. They're saying it's gonna make your skin radiant by up to 285%, hydrated up to 166%, makes your skin look beautifully plumper and smoother up to 80 181 percent makes your skin appear more even up to 210 percent all these like bogus percentages <laughs> there's nothing on the claims online but I noticed on the box it does say that this is a pollution defender or what do they exactly say pollution defense foundation they don't see what ingredient is actually the pollution defender but I tend to think that's a lot of BS. I mean, granted, I don't have, you know, a chemistry degree or anything like that. I'm just a little old NICU nurse over here. But um, I don't know. I tend to think, wear your SPF, wash your face at night. They're going to be your biggest pollution defenders. There's not really, show me a study to show a that a skincare ingredient can actually defend your face against pollution. We have antioxidants like vitamin C that will help prevent the, that free radical formation to maybe help decrease the pigment in your skin. But... There's, we don't really have a lot of studies on this, so I, I think that's a big claim on their part that I don't, I'm not sure if they can back up. So like, lots of big claims on here, but honestly the big thing about this that got me excited was the fact that this is um, claiming to give medium coverage and that it's gonna be a radiant finish. And I love a dewy finish in a foundation, especially with my dry skin. I just, I love that look. So. Let's let's see how this performed. I did use it over the last the course of two days. The first day I used it without a primer, and I have to say, at a distance and at first when I first tried it on, it really made my skin look smooth. It looked radiant. It looked luminous. Just everything looked just put together and very skin like. But as it wore, I noticed my pores were poking through. My skin just looked more textured and even the crepiness underneath my eyes was much more apparent. This sunk into not really my fine lines around my eyes, but definitely underneath my eyes where I have some more crepiness. I had some um, sinking of the foundation happening. I was able to pat it out, which I appreciated, but this really, really enhanced my texture. And as it wore throughout the day, I felt like it just felt heavier and more dry on my extremely dry skin right now. Now I will say it does hold up very well. It lasted all throughout the day yesterday. It does have a little bit of transfer though. I, I had to take my son for his flu shot. So I was in the doctor's office with a mask on and only, I was only in there for, you know, it took like a half hour. And I did have some transfer on the mask and my the tip of my nose was completely red where the foundation had it rubbed off um so it will transfer but it does set pretty nicely i almost expected more of a transfer with this with it being such a radiant foundation but it does does set pretty nicely but just keep that in mind that you will have a little bit of wear off if you're wearing a mask now the next day when i wore it i actually used my josie marin spf 
Their daily moisturizer is one of my favorites. I'm telling you, if you have really dry skin, this is a great primer to prime the skin and protect your skin. It's so moisturizing. Because of the argan oil base, it does leave that almost like slippery feel and just that nourishment to the skin and smoothness. So it works as a great primer for maybe your more matter foundations or your heavier, drier foundations. So I wanted to try this out. And I will say that foundation did wear a little better today. Now, today is, it's getting into around like five, six o'clock right now. So I have had it on all day. I feel like my skin does look a little smoother, but ultimately I do feel like my texture is really enhanced. The one thing about this foundation, I will say from afar, it makes your skin look really youthful and just smooth, glowy, not too glowy. I appreciate that there's not like a ton of shimmer in it. I actually expected, I felt like the promo photos made it look a lot more radiant than it actually is. It does leave just a pretty nice dew to the skin. So I do really love that, but final conclusion I know this was kind of a quick review but I just wanted to put it out there if you have dry skin I don't think this is the best option for you I found this again very heavy very drying on my skin I'll insert my close-up pictures this is from my downstairs bathroom for whatever reason it is the best lighting in there it is not forgiving whatsoever but you can see dry flakes on my forehead and then around my eyes you really see my wrinkles very enhanced um, if you have texture on your skin I just do not think that this will do any good things for your skin unfortunately but yeah I don't know what do you guys think just not the best that my skin has ever looked, that's for sure. Already rubbing off my chin here. And my forehead looks so textured, and I wouldn't consider, not that I wouldn't consider, but I never realized that I had such a textured, creepy looking forehead. From afar, not so bad, but up close, I just feel like texture. City. But ultimately, again, if you have texture, if you have mature skin, I'm not sure that you'll enjoy this. Unless you're maybe mature but on the oily side, I can see that you may like this. Although I know a lot, a lot of people with oily skin try to avoid these more luminous foundations. So I don't know, I just feel like unless you have perfectly normal skin, <laughs> This, this would be the only way that this foundation would work. I just felt like it was heavy and very drying on my skin, which really surprised me because the heaviness of this and the moisturizers that were in here, I thought it would be a very moisturizing foundation, but unfortunately this made my skin feel extra dry. It feels heavy and it feels cakey on my skin. If there's a Charlotte Tilbury foundation I can recommend to you guys. It is the Magic Foundation. This is so beautiful. If you're a fan of the Flower Beauty foundation, that is a very thin, radiant foundation that feels like nothing on the skin. It gives such a beautiful finish. This is exactly like this, but this actually lasts. The Flower Beauty Foundation does not last, but this guy lasts. So one of her most underrated foundations, I feel like, is her Magic Foundation. It's on the thinner side, and it's actually hydrating. I don't know why this is just not hydrating on my skin, and if anything, I feel like it dries my skin out. So unfortunately this foundation was a big fail for me let me know if you guys are interested in this foundation if you've tried it out what your your experience is i'd love to hear from you guys and if you guys enjoyed this video i'd love to have you guys here on this channel we do lots of skincare chats um with some makeup sprinkled in just lots of fun uh beauty reviews over here so i'd love to have you guys but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a super fast review, but there's already so many videos out there on this foundation. I just wanted to give you the nitty gritty of my final conclusive thoughts on this foundation. Well, conclusive as of two days, but I feel like I gave it the good college try and I just feel like my face looks so dull, dry, just flaky, crepey. All my dryness, do you see my forehead? Oh God, this side was even worse. Just creepy, creepy areas, texture, and obviously you can see all my dark spots. The foundation did not really last either. I thought it had a better wear time than this. I just, I feel like the caked on spots too, like the areas where it clung to my dry patches. It just, everything just feels heavy right now and dry and I can't wait to wash this off and moisturize my face. I just, at least in the winter time when my skin is this dry, I just cannot see myself being a fan of this. Maybe for filming it does again give a nice, 
view from afar, but up close, I just did not enjoy that this showed every dry flake, every little textured area on my face. So unfortunately, again, this was a fail for me, but stay tuned if you guys enjoy these types of videos, if you enjoy beauty reviews. I have a lot of skincare on this channel and um, yeah, I just would love to have you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.